Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we're back with some void to go here. Uh, last time we played, we freaking made it to the void. We unfortunately weren't able to get a W. It was still like one of the craziest runs we've ever done. Uh, we've gotten a little bit more uh, out of game progression and stuff like that. Um, but overall, we just keep playing this game. I mean, this game has so much replayability, so... I do think we now have a different power-up we can use now. That was one of the things we unlocked. Um, so instead of doing the stomping the heads of multiple foes, charges it, and then we do a big, you know, thing. Uh, this just says beacon, uh, beacons boost attack speed. Beacon sense your presence and bygone connection is kindled. So I think beacons are items, maybe? So something increases our attack speed. We also can, you know, make we can start with the shotgun. We'll do that. We're going to stay as that color. I don't really know what that color really does besides maybe change the UI. I don't know. But this game is whack. We're gonna see what type of build we get. When you came along, everything is under her control. It all wants you gone. It all wants you gone. That is very ominous here. Hey, Luigi's Mansion's pretty dope. Oh man, already took some damage, unfortunately, to the first enemy we fought. We're gonna need to get some vengeance here. Dude, the music in this game is so good. This is one of those things that we always talk about where this roguelike is just truly like a 10 out of 10 on all fronts. Um, sacrifice max. Nope. I don't really want to get rid of my maximum health already. But yeah. We're going from room to room. We're going to go boss hunting. We're going to find some crazy items and weapons. Yeah, I like the sh starting with the shotgun way more than the normal gun. Way more than the normal gun. Um, loot get. Uh, okay, we got a baybo. What is a baybo? A baybo? It's a bow and arrow, which is pretty pretty sick. So that's our uh, two weapons here. I think it's Q to switch, right? Yeah. Oh, you can't hold it for really long. It, it makes them wet. I don't know what making them wet does, though. Soul Knight? Yeah, I can see that a little bit. So this would give me an increased accuracy in sighting, but it wants the weapon. And keep in mind, if you haven't seen the uh, videos in this series, uh, we're also slowly trying to get out of game progression like by getting like 20 kills with every weapon, or max upgrading every item, or killing every boss. I don't know what we do. We just found something. A beacon powered fire turret. Wait. Oh, it wants my weapon for that. Okay, so I will probably do that, but I'm going to try to get 18 more kills with this weapon. As you see that number. 18 kills with this weapon before we trade it. I like it, but those beacons apparently give us more attack speed from the power we took or something. Allegedly. We got to destroy those beacons all over the world to fight the boss. As you saw. Th oh, man. We took some damage there. Oh, it took more damage. Or is... Oh, this is the beacon, maybe. That gives me attack speed. I think. I don't know. But yeah, this game has been around uh, a while in early access. It obviously just recently came out in 1.0, and that's when we started playing this game for the first time. And honestly, falling in love with it. It's a it's a 10 on a 10 on so many different fronts. The music, the presentation, the silliness, the uniqueness, the out-of-game progression. I mean, just it's firing on all fronts, you know? So Minecraft Dungeons are roguelike. I, I don't know. I don't know enough about that game. Does it have, like, randomized runs every single time? It might... It, if I had to guess, it's probably more like an RPG, right? Like Diablo, something like that. Because if it's, like, close to Diablo, then I would say no. If it's got the randomized per runs, you know, you're dying permadeath every time. I don't know enough about that game, though. Oh, boss. This is the boss we're fighting. Oh, dude, we've never fought this boss. What the hell? So we can only do like two thirds of his health, as you can obviously see from the health bar, because we have to destroy the beacons all over the world. We need uh, like four more kills, three more kills with this thing. <laughs> like, what are the voices? 
Okay, gotta kill two more kills here. And just deal a lot of damage to the boss. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna switch to the shotgun here. Okay, he's spawning people, I think. Get the ammo. Okay, we need one more kill with this. We got it. So we got the essence of this weapon. Okay, and the boss ran away. So the boss is in some other area now. So we get the weapon essence. This is like some of the out of game progression stuff, right? Weapon essence, get. Um, so now I am totally fine uh, to trade it. Um, oh. Hey, oh yeah, we were very low that whole time. I kind of just forgot about that. We healed a little bit. Here's a dungeon. Do not get hit. Dodge the lasers. Do not touch the walls. Okay. So if we touch the walls, we're going to lose this challenge. Uh, completely. Did I touch the wall? Because this has a little bit of knockback. There's like an enemy I gotta kill. I don't know where. Dude, I honestly think it may like just straight up like actually like kill me. If I like touch a wall. Cause it's giving me a very high tier. Oh my gosh. Weapon. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. So the extra thing we got. Oh no, no, no. It was just this. Never mind. Increased melee durability, faster reload, or combo. Okay, we'll just say faster reload. Not gonna complain about some faster reload. It's not like Diablo. Yeah, I just don't really know. Stoppable snake button. Snake bullets. Snake bullets. Snake bullets. We have snake bullets. What more could you ever ask for? Thing is, I don't want to get rid of this weapon. But I feel like I should. So we're going to take... Oh, that was buying ammo. I didn't need to buy ammo. I didn't need to buy ammo at all. Um, let's see here. Okay, a boss spawned, and and my cat is being rambunctious. Oh my gosh, dude! Our our our. Okay, well, actually, that's pretty good because I got the ammo here. I'll be able to use all this ammo for this boss before I recycle this. Dude, I love our snake bullets. Oh, look at! Oh, that's so interesting. It transforms the way my bullets actually all look. Look at that! Whoa! Oh, that's so it shoots so much slower So I can't do any more damage to this guy because I have to find one more Thing here I gotta find one more button to press Here's a shop. Is this on mobile? I don't think so Bullets break walls. I don't have a lot of money though. Yeah. I could hurt myself for five shards. I don't know about that. Sacrifice of health? Nah. Okay. Dude, snake bullets are kind of cur- Dude! That's pretty cool. So what would the shotgun look like? <laughs> the snake- it even works with just basic shotgun. Just all of our bullets are like this. Nice. We're back to full HP. This is pretty sick. We got we got this and uh, Dizzy Rogues. A oh, boss is here. But here's the thing. I got to break. Bam. Now we can kill the boss. Oh, dude, we took we took a lot of damage there. But I have like faster reload or attack speed or something next to these things. Snake bullets, go, go, snake bullets. So now we have a second phase. Oh, dude, he looks so trippy. Oh yeah, boss fights also ten out of ten. I am about to die. Run, 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 run. 
Snake bullets be doing a lot of damage. But he be doing a lot of damage too. Go snake bullets. We're so close. We got it. 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 Woo. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. That was the first time we fought that boss. Which also means... Um... Oh, electricity stomp. <laughs> Snake and rat bullets. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna just do electricity stomp, because that's a blue. Um... I, 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 I want to keep this weapon, but I also want the other beacon. But I think I gotta keep this weapon. I don't have any other weapons. So... Oh, I almost missed the boss essence. Right, we're slowly trying to beat every boss, max out every uh, item, get 20 kills with every weapon. So that's that's good. Okay. Well, let's go on to the next area here. Okay, so... This would upgrade my electricity things for my snake bullets, no. For the weapon, no. For the shotgun, yes. I will give you my base shotgun to upgrade the electricity boots. Because also we're trying to max out every single uh, thing, right? I could do it. Oh, I could max it with 20 shards. That's actually probably worth it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. So we have maxed out the things. We get the essence, which is part of the thing. We also get a little special thing whenever you max up an item. So we got the essence for the power up. Reverse roguelike? What is that? Do we get weaker? That would be hard to make satisfying, but be decent. Bullet wall bounce. Frog boot attack on stomp. Let's do more stomp stuff. That's the higher rarity one, too. Is also wanting us to sacrifice. Ooh, the faster reload for a max health. I would actually do that. I would do that. Dude, I'm, I'm liking a lot of these trades we're, we've been getting. I like that the game's constantly offering different trades and stuff, too. Right, now I can sacrifice max health for two random bundles. No, that's okay. So all we have is this bow. That was a good little trade thing. That was a good, a good trade deal. And on to area two here. Solutions built by the portals can be found scattered throughout this region. Thinking sheds they call them. If a portal stray from the hold, they are locked. I think we've gotten this one before. So all we have is this bow. Okay, we already got our max HP here. Dude, like this music is so incredible. Yeah, that would be that would be definitely an interesting concept for sure. Give me the money. It's like some of these things I still don't know, like. Oh, dude, that electricity. And then the frogs. Like, the animations in this game are insane. The music's insane. Sound design is insane. Like, this is a game, even if I think, like, isn't doing as well. Series, like, it definitely seems like some of you guys are liking this. So I hope you guys are. But I'm gonna keep playing this, kind of like Beyond the Long Night, even if it takes a while, because this is this is an incredible game, incredibly high polished. Uh, dungeon here, chance to spawn. Oh, this is a legend. We get a upgrade or something. But the area will have Magmoth babies, Thunder, and Magflies that will emerge constantly. Yeah, sure. I want to upgrade my stuff. That's fine. Magmoth, just gonna kill everyone. Just kill everyone. Dude, all this lightning stuff is sick. Like, this 
this music is so good. There's a lot of enemies here. And I don't know what's infinitely spawning and what's not. Though I think we're close. I, this music, I need to make this like my ringtone or something. I don't know what this song is. This song is insane. There's gotta be someone else. There's all these people emerging. Over here. Where's the other enemy? Where's the other enemy? What's happening? I, okay, we did it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what was happening. Okay, so either upgrade uh, the thing that's giving us more attack speed, like our main power. Snake bullet. Snake bullet. More snake bite chance. Snake bullet. Yes, please. Like to upgrade snake bullet stuff. <laughs> oh, okay, got a loot vortex. That would be sick though. Oh, okay, we got a gloob glove. Whoa. Dude, like some of the weapon, the things here are insane. Faster bullets and longer range. Melee weapon shock enemies. Faster bullets and longer range. That sounds dope. So we got a new, new cool weapon here. Dude, and we upgraded a lot of our things here. I would call that a success. Um, do these cost money? These do. I'm gonna, I don't need to buy that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude, this melee weapon is insane. That is insane. Just slapping people around here. Just give people a good old smack. Yeah, the, the things here in this game are freaking crazy. Doesn't seem to have a lot of ammo. It's already at 65% ammo, but it's just demolishing these guys. Oh, no, this was not the way I thought it was. We are actually on a dead end here. That's a recycler if we want to recycle something. Um, yeah, I'll buy ammo here. Probably don't have to, but I will. Just so I don't have to worry. So we got two good weapons too, the bow and then this melee. They complement each other, obviously. Um, so we need to keep going to the right. And this is where we spawn, so let's go down. What's the lore? Uh, so we're like, we, we were part of a village or whatever of, of what my character looks like. And we were invaded by like some shadow Alien enemies, some corruption, kind of a little bit vague, but that's ultimately what it is. Trade the glove for a full heal and ammo durability. Nothing. Now, if we find a different weapon, but I'm kind of liking this weapon. Oh no, we accidentally destroyed, hit an egg. All those birds were after us. Okay. Oh, I need to be stomping more, too. I have all the... Oh, God. Stomp stuff. Here's the boss. Dude, there, we're still seeing so many bosses I've never seen before. Okay. We got a lot, lot going on right now. But our snake bullets will get the job done, I'm sure. So, obviously, we can only do half of his health right now. Oh, he spawns those guys. Oh, gosh. What is that? Is that an enemy? Oh, no, it was the boss. Let's try to use our ammo to do damage to him. A big
Big wide open areas are the best for me with this bow. Especially because I have longer range with that one item. Got it more ammo. I like that ammo and health drops happen at, while you're fighting the boss. Or like as you're doing damage. So it ran away. We were about to get it to half health. There wasn't much more we could do. So the boss already have, has health health. And that's what I really like is like you fight the boss over the course of the whole thing. It's not always just at the end. You know. Dude, this hand is a little hard to use, but it's so strong. So it wants... It'll give me max health if I sacrifice the more range and damage thing, which I don't think I want to do that. Hey, found more max health. Right, especially when you're doing melee weapons, it's nice to kind of have a lot of health. Okay. Shop? I actually have a lot of money here now. Uh, void attack on reload during battle. Sounds pretty sick. We could max the snake bullets, but that's a weapon. No, yeah, let me go ahead and beacon powered. I think we should be getting more beacons, but I don't know, whatever. Void attack on reload, that sounds amazing. So, nice. Anytime we reload, do some cool void attack. Um, it wants to sell the bow for 15 shards. And it wants to sell my max thundered for 90. That is a lot, but nah. I'm okay. Okay, we got we got some... The soul thing. Because some of these attacks are some of the things that do like some of the most damage. We got two dungeons here. Oh, this is... Recycle a weapon. No, thank you. And this is a dungeon. We get a weapon upgrade if we just don't dodge. Which means no stomping. Yeah, let's try it. Gotta slap people. I think I can sprint. I just can't jump and I can't do my stomps. Oh, dang, we got hit. But that's fine. This is such a weird weapon. We did it though. So, it is upgrading uh, our main passive. Which I'll gladly take. Um, get the money. I, I do know. I'm glad. Oh, okay. Ooh. I do need ammo. I need both of these. I'll, I'll buy ammo over health. A little bit scary though. A lot of money. Oh my. There's a lot of money down here. Oh, perfect. Two health drops. That's huge. Okay, so we can get bullets become homing orbs, stompable grave. Oh, this is a, a thing. Bat bullets. Okay, so snake and bat bullets. I think they synergize together. I do think they synergize. So snake and bat bullets. I mean, what more? What more? What more could you ask for? But just the types of builds you end up getting in this game are crazy. Okay. Oh, there's the weapon essence for the glove. We killed 20 people with the glove. It is cool to just also constantly know you're like exploring more with the weapon essence type stuff. Okay, so we could upgrade the void rehand for the, the weapon. For the, it's wanting both of my weapons. Or the stapes, or the stomp, the frog stomp. Uh, yeah, it's probably worth it. Because, like, the, the Void Hand's like an epic or whatever you'd call it. So we'll upgrade that. And it'll give us another chance to upgrade here, too. A lot of the times. So it either wants it for the uh, rat bullets for this glove or for the... No, I won't do that. None of that's worth it. None of that's worth it. Go love them. Go love them. Yeah, I'm using the glove right now for... Main things and then the bow for bosses to stay far away. So I got a recycle weapon if I want it.
Oh, took a lot of damage there. Oh my god, dude. I got so low all of a sudden. It's just having to get close to people. We need to find some health. Oh, gosh. Ooh, boy. Oh, boss came over here. Somewhere. Okay, hopefully we'll get some uh, max health here. Oh, I saw the void thing. Oh, that void thing. Oh, is that the void or is that the rat bullets? Dude, rat and, or what was it? Crow and, oh, look at those. What is happening? <gasps> those crow bullets, snake and crow bullets are insane. This may be one of my favorite builds we've gotten before. <laughs> okay, phase two already here. We got one stomp on, which is good. Okay, there's some ammo max HP. Shoot that sniper over there. Dude, this is insane. More health. This build is insane. We made, what if we could beat the game? I think we could beat the game this run. This has got potential here. We have the health. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Whoo. Okay, so we could max our passive or bat bullets. The bat bullets, dude. The, the snake and bat bullets are insane. And... I think I'll have plenty... Let's see. Oh, there's the boss essence. Constantly making progress here. Let's go. Oops, didn't mean... One second. Oh, yeah. Boss essence, get. Okay. Um, uh, I think we're fine. There's a dungeon or something down here. Okay, just a couple chests. Because I don't think you get anything from that. Yeah. I um, think we're good to go here. Next wave. The next area. Okay, let's see if we get some good trades here. This is a guy that we have to keep feeding and maybe he'll pay out. We haven't had good luck with him. Sacrifice max health for random bundles. Hey, we got a channel point prediction if I could win the game. That's pretty sick. That's a good that's a good channel point prediction because I feel like we got a good shot. So if you guys want to be degenerate gamblers, appreciate that route. Um, and I can close it out if you guys want to partake in it too. Um, yeah, I don't want to trade my cool glove hand here so no trade deals here worth it right now that's fine that is fine a is finally is a all in on yes oh there's some channel points being thrown around okay dang there's pressure I'm gonna try to win I'm doing my best here. You're a believer. <laughs> Give him a big... Nope. Oh, okay. Oh. Was an enemy. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is that? What are you, dude? But the animations in this game are amazing. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Some big boys out here, though. Loot get. Ooh! It wants our bow for a high tier thing called a thumper. A thumper? Uh, is, is that from like, like you know, the modern warfare? I mean, obviously that's like a real gun. I think this is a grenade launcher though. 
Yeah, I'll close it out. There's root. Okay, okay, so there's a bunch of beacons we gotta break open here. Oh! -ho -ho! Dude, that thumper, dude! That thumper, man! That's insane. Only has 20 bullets, so I'll probably try to conserve it for bosses. I wanna get the 20 kills, though. Especially with the snake and bat bullets. I mean, this game is just batshit insane. And I love it. Cause like it's so cleanly batshit insane, you know? Like, I don't know how to explain it's just good game. Good good game. Like look at them. They have bat wings and they're also a snake. Okay. Um yeah, I'll buy some ammo. Maxed out both of them. Cool. These characters look like they're from Naruto or something. Dude, like, what is this music? It's so good. Da, da, da. We gotta start playing this soundtrack when we're doing other things. Oh, here's the boss we're fighting. What? Dude, like, what are these bosses? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is this? Let's do it. It's the prophecy? Oh, oh god, dude. Oh my god, dude, he's murdering us. We lost a lot of health there. Dude, the music is terrifying. We gotta kill the prophecy. Oh my god, dude. Those bullets are insane. What is this boss? War's hell. We're already to the point where we can't do much more damage to him. I think we just go into one of these dungeons here. Health, ammo. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Okay. Uh, yeah, we've, we've already done most of the damage we could do. Okay, he flew away. He flew away. Okay. Okay, get out of here. Whoo! Whoo, boy. Yeah, looks like you guys got about 30 more seconds for the channel point prediction for those of you guys that want to partake. Okay. We got a dungeon here. Dude, that's a legendary melee. But exploding pine cones will spawn and chase me. Or the prophecy laser will chase you. Um You know what? I'm I'm better just do a normal a normal one here. Oh! You guys are strong. Dude, this is like some cult level shit. This is this area is really cool. There's so much variety. There's so much of this game I know we haven't even seen. Like we haven't even scratched the surface on the content here. I'm trying to save this thumper ammo. Running out of ammo of both, honestly. Oh, I got hit too. That wasn't supposed to happen. Are these enemies? What is happening? Dude, this level is so trippy. Dude, I'm using so much health and ammo. I'm so glad I didn't do a challenge. Okay, there's some health. Where's an enemy? I'm ready to kill an enemy. Is it these? I guess these are enemies. They just have a lot of health. Yeah, I have like no ammo. It's more health. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Uno mod. <laughs> Man. Grenade on reload, bullets knock back enemies. Or faster melee attack speed. Ah. 
20 for that? I don't think any of those are worth it. These are what I get for free. Frog attack on reload. Beacon spinning blade. Crab. Okay, we'll say, yeah, frog attack on reload. Um, man. We don't have a lot of ammo here. We do have health again. Whoo! Is this another dungeon? What is this? Another dungeon. Defeat all the enemies in less than 30 seconds. Or this air. Okay, yeah, don't. Yeah, okay. Let's just do the speedrun one. Because we do it or we don't, right? It's not making the game harder. Okay, we just gotta go fast. Gotta go vroom, 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 No, I didn't do it. But I still get the rewards for the dungeons, though. Dude, there are so many enemies. How would I have done this? They're still spawning, too. Also, I am, like, already almost out of ammo. Oh, I'm, like, completely out of ammo. Can, like, completely, completely. I can, like, melee people with it. What the hell hit me? What? I just took one source of damage that took me down to almost death. What the fuck was that? Was that me, like, overusing my melee weapon? Banana... Uh, bat boot attack. Just bat and snakes. Especially because we're gonna have to be stomping a lot. Okay, ammo. Here's ammo. Little bit of ammo. Oh my god, dude. What happened? Okay, we'll do health. We have. I don't know. I need ammo, though. But I also need to be not one shot away from dying. What the fuck happened? I I can't. Okay, we got seven bullets. We gotta use our stomp a lot more here. Okay, we, we sacrificing our max health is tempting right now. There's more max health, so we're staying safer. We are staying safer. <sighs> okay, it wants the gloves for full ammo and uh, health. Well, I don't have any ammo on the... So if we find a better weapon, we definitely will. Hey, we found ammo and health. Dude, the bat and <laughs> snake stuff is so amazing and so fun. Wait, what does this want to trade? Oh, it wants to trade this. No, I'm not giving away the thumper. I would have given away the other thing. I'm not getting rid of the thumper here. That's staying here. I just love the constant trades it's offering you in this game. I, it's not a roguelike like that to me. I played. Okay, shopkeeper. We got 29. People. Yeah, give me a good weapon that I could replace this melee with. Oh, trident. Is that just two max, two instant? I still don't know what the crypto max health is. Um, triple raffle. Let's do this trident. Buying the trident. So... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep that here. I'm gonna go sell the glove for full ammo and a heal. Oh, what the f Oh God, I went to the wrong area. Okay, I do have the thumper though. Oh, is this the thing to make? Okay, I'm gonna challenge the void. I can make the game harder where I have to fight two bosses. Okay, we're doing it. We're fighting two bosses this floor for extra rewards. We may lose, but if we're trying to beat the game, we need to go big or go home. This music is so good, man. Oh, did the, one of the bosses spawns here. Because we're fighting two of the boss now. So there are two of the same boss on this map. No, I don't really have... I'm probably going to have to run here because I don't have much ammo. This isn't really what I meant to do, so... <laughs> I'll see you later. But there's two There's two bosses on the uh, on the map. Okay, so I just went the wrong way. That's okay. All right, we're going to sell this for a full heal and max out ammo. I didn't need the heal. I probably could have waited. 
Oh god, boss came to us there. Okay. So now we're gonna go pick up this other weapon. So we have a trident. More frog. Oh, we could 25% more speed and range. Yeah, we'll take that. Cool. So I've created that item. Okay, so let's try it. I don't know how it works. Oh, there was a essence here. Let me go pick up. There it is. The weapon essence of the thumper. Let's go. Just constantly making progress playing this game. Okay, so we have two bosses we have to kill here. But you get a lot of rewards for doing it. Oh, I like this trident because I think it's a lot of bullets, which means a lot of snake or, oh, this trident's like a machine gun. Okay, a boss is here too. So we're saying hi to a boss. Dude, look at it. <laughs> this weapon's insane for us. The snake bat bullets will prevail. They will prevail. He's just stuck. He's just stuck. Like, yeah, we used a lot of ammo, but... Oh, both bosses are here. Both bosses are here. You know what? That's probably fine. Though, we're at a point where we can't hurt one of them anymore, so... It is definitely worth it to go... Oh, I can't leave until I break open something. It's over here. Okay, okay, we can leave now. Oh, wait, we can do a little bit more damage. Oh, I took some damage. One of the bosses left. Okay, out of ammo for the trident, but there's some ammo right here. Okay. He's, he's taking a lot of damage. Okay, now we can kill the bosses. Dude, this trident with this build is insane. Some more max health. Got this thumper. Yeah, both bosses are like almost dead here. Ooh, okay, a dungeon. Oh my god, we could get poison bullets, but defeated enemies revive once. That's fine. We're gonna use a lot of, uh, that's very hard, but that's insane. There is some ammo we can uh, buy in there as well. Oh god, the music sounds very scary now. <laughs> so all enemies revive once. It's okay. We'll live here. The the bats and everything are gonna help just kill them all. Like, doesn't matter if they revive, they're gonna just keep dying. Where are they at? Dude, I, we think we almost got it. We did it. That was not bad at all. So now we have poison bullets on top of everything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, melee bullets. All bullets are now rockets. <laughs> so our bullets are snake, bat, rocket, poison bullets. Dude, this is easily the most OP build we've ever made. Okay, definitely buy some ammo here too. Mainly for the trident. This trident is great. Thumper's great too. Oh gosh, dude. This I could see us beating the game with. As long as we have like plenty of ammo. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we could recycle our weapon if we wanted. Okay, are, are things being rockets are making this very a little bit harder to aim, but they can't hurt me, so I think it's it's just good. Probably don't have to use as many bullets now too. Dude, oh. I was like, how do we still have more health here? Okay, now we're going boss hunting here. That's all we're doing. We're hunting down these bosses, damn it. Okay, here's one. Bringing out the trident. how fast he's dying. Oh, but I'm dying too. Okay, they're both here. Let it rip. 
Let it rip. Let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, yeah. I forgot they have uh, second phases. Well, it's good they're in the same room. Let's see how good... Bat rocket poison bullets are. Oh, my God. Taking damage to some tornadoes. What the hell are these tornadoes? Are they constant? Okay. Okay. Go and got more ammo. Dude, this is such a chaotic build. <laughs> Oh my god, it is the fact that I'm fighting two bosses here at once, though. Okay, I gotta run away from the tornado. Okay, the other one went to phase two. That's the problem, though. Oh god. Okay, health and ammo. I do have a lot of range here. One of them ran away. So we're only fighting one right now. Dude, it's so much damage! We killed one of them. Oh, let's go. So we still got one more to kill. It was, it was just scary fighting them both at the same time there. Oh, max HP, more ammo, got the boss essence. Ooh. Boss ass and skin. Okay. Now we gotta go find one more. There's some more ammo. Ammo. Nice. So max ammo on the trident here. Okay. Let's do it here. We got full health. Killing boss second time here. I dude, this does so much damage. This combo is actually insane. Let's go! I like how it, 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 it tried to blow the fire out and then it caught on fire. Let's go. Okay, so we can upgrade the bat boot, the rockets. Oh no, more. Okay, yeah. Easily more bats. 50% more bats. Let's go. Um, more ammo for it. I don't need the health. Okay, and we're gonna get another extra reward. On top of getting the extra bosses, we get an extra, extra reward just for doing the challenge of fighting two bosses here. And then I think we're going to the void, I think. So, it wants, it wants a weapon for that, no. No. So this is, I would sacrifice, I'd get a max health to get rid of the rocket bullets. This is my prize here. Hey, max health, okay, huh. That's pretty good. So we just got a max health for fighting two of them. Sacri- Nah. Nah, I don't need that much. I'm not gonna feed that thing either. So this is it. Okay, do we go to the void now? Is this- Is this where we made it to last time? Or is there one more area in between? No, we're in the void, dude. This is where we made it to last time. But we weren't able to beat it last time. Maybe we will this time. I think our build's good for this area, because it's like, it spawns a lot. We are in the final area, I think, where we weren't able to beat it last time, so. But a crazy build. We're gonna see if we can beat this game for the first time. One of the bosses is already here. What does he look like? Okay. Corrupted loot vortex. It would, it wants my thumper for that weapon. I'll do it. I don't have a lot of ammo for the thumper. What is this? I don't know. Okay, I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> I mean, we didn't have much ammo for the other one, so... That's a good trade. Okay. So we've gotten two of four. Dude, this anti-void blaster, I think, is pretty good. And we have Snake. Okay, here's the boss. I think final boss. It's gonna just spawn a bunch of other bosses. But that's what this trident's for. So we can- Oh god. Run! Damn it, run! Okay, we did about half of health. We have to go to the other areas. 
We, we're not going to be able to hurt him anymore. We're not going to be able to hurt him. We got to go to the other areas. Got more ammo. Get me out of here. They're going to keep chasing me, though. We just have to keep going until... Where is it? Where is it? Where's the thing to break? Okay, we broke it. So we just have to bum rush that. Okay. No, where is it? Where are they? We have to find the things that we can destroy. Oh god, they hurt me. A lot, dude. They hurt me a lot. There we go. Finally won, so we can actually uh, do a little bit more of their damage. Is the other is the last one in here? We can at least do more damage to the boss here. Oh my god. Do, do, do. Oh, here it is. Okay, we can kill him now. We can kill the final boss. Duh, duh, but duh. Oh, the problem is we're low, and I'm sure there's a second phase. Oh, God, I'm about to die, though. I need health. It's going to be a second phase. No way. Second phase. There's going to be a second phase. Duh. Wait, what? There's not a second phase? I don't believe it. Yeah, second phase. Da da da. Oh my god, dude, what the hell? Just stay far away. Let the rats and bats do their thing. I do want to stay next to this thing if I can. Oh god, dude. Oh, I'm just going hyper focus mode. Shit! I'm so low, but so is he! Come on! We did it, I think! Hopefully no phase three. Boss essence. Beat the Void Puppeteer exactly one time we have to- I think we beat the game. I think we beat the game. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see what happens. So it won't let me kill him though, like fully. There's something like f there, huh? Let's see what happens. This is the first time we've ever done this. We did it! Complete a run! Complete a run on Rogue! So we did beat it. We beat our first game of Voidico, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So I'll close it after we figure out all this stuff. And we're making more of this out of game progression. These are the boss essences. Making more progress on the boss essences. And we're making progress, I think, on the weapon essences and the item west ep essences. Woo! Oh, what is that? What is that? New difficulty intense. The world grows darker and more hostile under the influence of the void. New entity, Kirk. 
Karakma's World Expander. You can now find world tokens during a run. Collect all of them in a world to expand it with new areas, challenges, bosses, and enemies. Dude, there's so much progression in this game, and it's so interesting progression, too. So cool. So in worlds, you can find world things to then expand the worlds themselves? Oh, we opened up this. What is this? Oh. New entity void portal. After defeating the void, you can now loop back to the start with your current equipment at your own risk. So I guess that we just unlocked a looping mechanic or something like that. So what is this? I guess this is just... Uh... Okay, so we have 22 currency... Right, this is a pet. It says feed your pet. We we probably want to explore what that is. We could also explain exp like expand the war like the walls. There's so much different places we could ex uh, spend in this, right? This I think we could spend 5 to unlock. Yeah, let's do that. That will have done every Oh, there's a couple different. Yeah, let's unlock one new weapon. The bedagger, so it's a shield and dagger starting weapon, so we can start with that now in the future. But then, yeah, let's see what this pet stuff is. Two to feed our pet. Wait, we literally craft a pet over time? So, okay, Spry. Turkey. <laughs> We're customizing our own pet. Are you for real? Um, give me like five, here, give me like two minutes here, I'm almost done. Um, okay, let's do low. First name, dude, what is this? Da. Da. Da ta. Da da. Dabo, dabo. Dabu boo. Dabu boo. We have we have our pet Dabu boo. We're gonna feed him again. What is this? We get him legs, dude. <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna just only invest all of my meta progression into this pet thing. Okay, Dabu boo. Uh, Dabu boo's got uh legs like this. Okay, if we keep feeding. <laughs> Dabu boo. This is amazing! This is the best thing in the game. Dabu boo. Okay, two more. I'm telling you. Dabu boo. Dabu boo. Dude, I'm gonna keep spending all of my auto game progression on this. <laughs> Why is his head so screwed up? <laughs> this is not what I should be spending my auto game progression on, but I do not care. Um, Dabu Boo. I don't know how much more I have. Dabu Boo. <laughs> Is he finally done? No, I don't have any more out of game progression. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, pet. Dude, we got our own pet, Dabu Boo. Dabu Boo. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, well. Maybe in the future we'll, we'll keep doing our pet and maybe we do some other meaningful uh, out of game progression, but we gotta customize our pet here, right? <laughs> But either way, we beat our first run ever uh, in Voidigo. Um, unlocked a bunch of stuff, um, and uh, I've just—it just seems like there's so much more to keep exploring in this game. I definitely want to keep checking it out. I really enjoyed this build that we got. So you know, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, you know, make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like the big boy YouTubers say to be notified uh, when more Voidigo videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. Check out our full series as well for some crazy runs. And if you guys are gonna be grinding out some Voidigo on your own then i wish you guys luck and see you all next time